Hello, my name is Keith McCormick and I'm a lecturer and podiatry admissions tutor. Welcome to Podiatry at the University of Southampton, the only Russell Group provider of podiatry training in the UK. These university facts and figures demonstrate our commitment to education excellence, internationalisation and employability. Southampton is a fantastic place to live. As you can hear, I'm not native to Southampton. I've been here for 14 years and I absolutely love it. Being on the coast has lots of advantages and there's a huge depth and breadth of entertainment along with loads of green spaces and parkland. With 25,000 students, we have invested in high quality infrastructure with new buildings provided dedicated teaching and learning spaces. Southampton Common, to the left of this main campus picture, is a site of scientific special interest and provides 300 acres of woodland and open green spaces for recreational use including running, cycling, picnics, ball games and play areas. A whole new world genuinely awaits you at Southampton. Podiatry will provide you with a lifelong career. We are in demand and there's no shortage of work across the public and the private sector. The elderly population will continue to rise, creating more opportunities for podiatrists. We have 100% employability in podiatry. In this changing world, employability is a valuable commodity. In addition to a science degree from a Russell Group University, you will also have a vocational profession for life. A definition I really like of podiatry is here on this slide, the science and medicine of the lower limb. We manage diseases and disorders of the lower limb and we undertake treatments that involve the foot and ankle and we are the genuine specialists in the foot. Podiatrists keep you walking for life. So this is our incredibly talented team and you'll see on the top left our program manager Mark Cole keeps everything together. Um, I'm the um, admissions tutor for podiatry. I'm also director of internationalization for the School of Health Sciences. We have Dr. Don Bacon, who's our specialist in musculoskeletal science, and Dr. Emma Cowley, who recently joined us with a PhD in the science of running. We're lucky to have one of the only professors actually in the world in podiatry, in Professor Kathy Bowen, and she heads up all our research. All of us are active in research, and we have three postdoctoral um, members of staff as well. Dr. Lindsay Cherry, Dr. Lucy Gates and Dr. Charlie Dando and they also feed into the programme supervising students and teaching and we're very lucky also to have an emeritus professor Dr. Uh, Dr. Alan Borthwick OBE and you, you may see him popping in and out of the campus when you come in September. We're lucky to have award-winning teaching staff as well. Dr. Don Bacon won inspiring Podiatrists of the Year last year, and that was a national award that was actually voted for by podiatry students across the UK. The entire teaching team was nominated for a VC's award for collegiality. I think we are a great team and we get on really well, and also we use that cohesion to support our students in the best possible way we can. Myself and Mark were also nominated uh, for best pastoral support, and this is something that we really pride ourselves in. We don't have huge numbers of podiatry students and that means that we can really look after them. So what do we diagnose and treat? Patients come to us for all lower limb related problems. These are some of the more common pathologies we diagnose and treat on a day to day basis on the left hand side of the slide. Before you go on to placement, we will teach you basic clinical skills in our newly renovated clinical skills environment. These include to name only a few, assessing foot pulses to check circulation, checking nerve function in the foot and pressure analysis of the sole of the foot to check for areas of high pressure which may cause problems. Here are some of our students in action. First picture, using ultrasound images to diagnose deeper tissue problems. Second picture, having an anatomy tutorial on placement with one of our skilled clinical educators. Third picture, preparing local anaesthetic injections. This is our placement patch, which stretches from Oxford in the north to Dorset in the south. Podiatry at Southampton is unique in the fact that all our placements take place in blocks 
where you actually work as part of the team in a real NHS environment in an NHS department. By the end of your time here, you will have at least two or three NHS departments on your CV and often students end up with job offers from departments where they have actually been on placement. This happens every year. Most of our placements are within commuting distance of Southampton. If you want to stay nearer to your placement if it's slightly further away, the cost of this is reimbursed for UK students. We also have some highly specialist placements slightly further afield and we're constantly looking at new areas of placement and increasing our network. Podiatrists are really lucky. We get to work in many settings across the public and private sector. This slide actually remem reminds me a little bit of when I was a community podiatrist and I had to work all across um, these areas. And I thought it gave me excellent experience. Um, I even had to go into a prison once or twice. So one of the things, one of our unique things and one of our unique selling points is um, our active research team. And this means that all students um, get a chance uh, to conduct a real world research project as part of the wider team. All our staff are research active and teaching is informed by the research we do. So you're hearing things firsthand. We're very lucky to have one of the only podiatry professors on the planet and our programme of research is led by Professor Cathy Bowen. Here are some examples of, the stu of our students winning national awards for their research. In this case, at the Tissue Viability Conference, they actually, two of our, our students actually won uh, the research prize, and that wasn't the student research prize, it was the actual research, re research prize. We also had one of our undergraduate studies published in the Journal of Foot and Ankle Research. Closer to home, some of our podiatry students also won the Clinical Audit Prize on the Isle of Wight, and this was the first time that non-medical students um, were allowed, sorry, non-medics were allowed um, to enter the competition, and uh, and it's unheard of for a student to win this type of com competition. So this could be you. In addition to our training as a podiatrist, we also pro provide you with other skills valuable to your career. Again, employability is very valuable in this changing world. So we teach you to be educators. You will use data from your research projects. We teach you to evaluate that data. And we also teach you leadership skills and business skills as well. Some modules are, ch are shared with OT and physio. This gives you a chance to integrate with other allied health professions. At the end of the programme, you will have a qualification in prescription only medicines which will allow you to access a supply, access and supply a range of drugs, including some antibiotics, local anaesthetics, injectable steroids, pain medication, and antifungal agents. As you can see, we have many profession-specific modules, along with some shared modules. We are very proud also to have a business skills module, which will prepare you if you want to enter private practice and uh, set up your own practice. Everyone learns differently, so we have created a variety of assessments which suit differing learning styles. There is no written exam in third year, and the written exams, uh, the last lit written exams you'll do will be halfway through the second year. Here is a sample of our timetable. Placements take place at the end of first year, in the middle of year two, and at the end of year three. This is augmented by in-house skills training. In a normal three-year cycle, you will complete a thousand clinical hours recommended by the College of Podiatry. The university has fantastic accommodation to suit all budgets, and we have our own bus service linking halls and campus. You can find out more about our dedicate more from our dedicated advisors and from our web pages. Recent investment in infrastructure has resulted in some beautifully designed halls in the centre of town. We have world-class library facilitators um, centred around the Hartley Library, where you can find um, full-text articles from databases held 
of all the main medical and medically related journals. This will help you hugely um, writing your assignments. One thing we really pride ourselves in in podiatry um, is looking after students. We have relatively small numbers and through our personal tutor, tutor system and support services um, we're able um, to help you with queries or with any difficulties that you may have and advise you on how to come through these difficulties and continue with your studies. The National Conference of the College of Podiatry is the highlight of the year for podiatrists and our third year students. It's the largest podiatry conference in Europe and is so popular that we don't have classes on the, on the two weekdays that this runs. In the last 15 years, the staff at Southampton have been heavily involved in the organisation and delivery of this conference, more than any other podiatry school. Every year, our staff and students contribute to posters and oral presentations, and our visibility at this event is really high. These are some of our past students getting involved in the conference. Two of these students facing the camera now work for a highly successful group of private practices. The third has just completed her master's in amputation rehabilitation. I know it's not supposed to be polite to talk about money, but it's important, right? The starting salary for a band five NHS podiatrist is around 25,000 at the moment. Podiatrists are in such demand that some students can start on band six straight out of university. There are loads of vacancies for podiatrists at the moment and over the last few years I've seen the same pattern. I can't see the reason, any reason why this would change. Because of our unique placement model, we have a brilliant network of podiatry departments and clinical educators who actively recruit our students because they know that we do a good job in training them. So, as I'm sure you m may have heard, this year is very different for some of the allied health professions. You'll receive, for, for podiatry, you'll receive £5,000 per year maintenance grant that will not need to be repaid. There are also some extra payments for some el eligible students. Podiatry is a shortage speci specialism, so you'll get an extra £1,000. And also, because in the region um, we struggle to recruit podiatrists, there's, there will probably be a, a, th a further £1,000 uh, available um, for that parameter. And also, if you have childcare um, issues, then another £1,000 can be available. For those of you in, really interested in research, in addition to doing a research project while you're a student, um, we often have internship places you can apply for at the end of your degree. These um, are run by a network of universities and are led by our professor, Cathy Bowen. So just to give you an idea of some of the opportunities that you may have, we currently, and for the last five years or so, have an inter op internship opportunity in podiatric surgery, led by one of the leading podiatric surgeons in the country, who's also a visiting professor attached to our department. Mark offers a one-year band six internship to one of our Southampton graduates. If you're interested in surgery, this is a career-changing opportunity which you may be eligible for. We have very strong links with Singapore and have been graduating scholars from Singapore for over 10 years. Manfred Mack is one of our graduates and he is now head of department at Singapore General Hospital. And this just shows you how quickly our graduates progress in practice. If you look at this picture, Helen Rees at the back right, also young, um, is one of our podiatry graduates who went on to become the president of the Canadian Federation of Podiatric Medicine, again just showing you what can be done. Most people join the College of Podiatry for career education, CPD support and indemnity insurance. We also have a faculty within one of the Royal Medical Colleges, which makes us really unique. Why don't you check out the Journal of Foot and Ankle Research as a resource for the latest lower limb research findings? Okay, so we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have online. As I said before, um, I'm the admissions tutor and I'm happy for you to contact me on Unibuddy or any of us on Unibuddy. And also, if you'd like to email me, my email address is on the next slide. 
I have to say this is one of my favourite days of the year when we see our third year um, third year students qualify and graduate um, and it's, it's really exciting for them and for us to know that we've done a good job. So thank you very much um, and I hope to see you um, at some stage starting the podiatry programme. Thanks for your interest and please do get in touch if you want to hear anything more about our exciting podiatry programme.